Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Saga channel. Last episode I promised that I would do some video reviews for a few of the items that I bought at Dima Dive Show 2019 in Orlando and I guess this is the first one of those. One of the items that I bought was a, a deep housing for my GoPro 7 and uh, I bought that from Gollum Gear so we're going to have a look at how that holds up at depth. So guys, the GoPro uh, deep housing from Gollum Gear for the GoPro 7. Funny story, and I told it last time as well, when I went to pick up the housing at Dima Dive Show that I had ordered on their website, they said, oh, that's for the shallow housing. And I said, no, absolutely not. It's 500 foot housing. And he said, well, that is the shallow version. So there you go. There's always another drop off. So got a, a little box here. It's, uh, I'm normally a sucker for nice packaging, but this one is pretty basic, but it is after all also really just a housing. And what you see is what you get. It's the unit right here. Uh, you can have a look on their websites. They do have different uh, types of housings. So this is the 500 foot or the 150 meter edition for the GoPro 5, 6 and 7. So uh, pretty simple, opens like any other GoPro housing right here in the front and then we open it up like so. I will say, and maybe if the people from Column Gear are watching this, it smells really bad inside and I don't know what that is. Maybe that is the, the lubricants that's been used, I don't know. Uh, but I've never really smelled this smell before. But uh, by all means guys, don't be dissuaded from buying this housing because it smells weird, okay? So we took this on a dive, uh, obviously at a depth of 300 feet, which is where we went. Uh, we need a little bit of light, so we did already use the Nanite and the um, Kraken uh, Hydra 5000 lights that we kind of uh, talked about last episode as well. We'll do a separate review on those, uh, but we did use them to kind of line up a shot, try to try to make something out of it. Taking a photo uh, at uh, 300 feet or 90 meters deep is a little bit of a weird thing to do because you're kind of focused on the execution of the dive and then especially setting up some lights, but um, the housing works as prescribed. The guys did advise me to really absolutely make sure that there's no hairs or nothing in the seal. The uh, GoPro fits perfectly. There's really not too much wiggle room at all, actually nothing. And um, it seals as designed. From there on, obviously the function is pretty straightforward. The buttons work really well and uh, there was absolutely no flooding. It is a little bit heavier, that's for sure, a little bit bulkier but uh, that does not at all affect the, um, the usage of the camera. Uh, I expected maybe there to be a little bit of cropping because the, the lens ports, it's a little bit away from the GoPro, but actually there is none of that. So absolutely would recommend this uh, to anybody who needs a GoPro housing deeper than uh, 45 meters or 150 feet. Uh, this one, as I said, by Column Gear, I highly uh, advise it. Seems to hold up really well. We'll definitely be using this one a lot more uh, on our future tech dives. If you guys have any questions about it, I'm happy to answer. I'm also happy to hear what else you guys are using for your deeper, um, deeper video or, or photo uh, adventures. Uh, definitely let me know that in the comments below. Very short one, I told you. Guys, if you wanna see more, let us know, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll be back for more. See you next time.